Let's learn how to crochet broomstick lace together. I think you'll be surprised at how much easier this is than it actually looks. So grab your supplies and let's dive in. I'm using a 30 millimeter crochet hook today to hold the loops, but you could use anything that you have on hand, a knitting needle, a paper towel holder, even a traditional broomstick if you have one. Next, I'm using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. This one is Susan Bates and a medium worsted weight yarn. This is Lion Brand Pound of Love in Pumpkin Pie. I'll begin with a slip knot and a chain. You want to chain in multiples of five plus one turning chain. For every five chains, you'll have one broomstick lace stitch. So I'm going to chain 16 and that will be three broomstick lace stitches. The first row is just single crochet stitches. So I'll start in the second chain from hook with a single crochet stitch and then single crochet all the way across. For row two, instead of a turning chain, we're gonna pull up on our loop about an inch and place it on our large crochet hook. Then we'll take our smaller crochet hook We'll hold the larger one in our left hand and our work in our right, and we'll insert our hook into the next single crochet stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop, the same height as the last one, about an inch, and put it on our large needle. And we'll continue to do that in each single crochet stitch all the way across for this example, that will be 15 loops total. For row three, we'll be taking our loops off of our large hook and collecting them in groups of five. So I'm gonna find the first five loops and gently slide them off of my large hook onto my smaller hook. For this first group of loops and the first group only, we will do a chain one, and then we will do five single crochets into the center of the five loops. Now we're going to do the second set of loops. So I'll find five loops, move them towards the end of my hook here and collect them on my smaller hook. I don't need to chain one here. I just start with my first single crochet and then do four more single crochets into the center of these loops. Now I'll do the last section here, moving those loops to the bigger hook to the smaller hook, single crochet five. And now I've completed my first set of broomstick lace stitches. Moving forward, you'll repeat rows two and three until you have the height that you like. A few tips, you can use a smaller hook to hold your loops to make the holes in your broomstick lace smaller. For the row where you're pulling up your loops, some people prefer to go into the back loops only of the single crochet. Um, for this project, I thought it looked better if I went into both loops, but you can play around with that and see what you like. The only thing really challenging about this stitch is how to hold everything. So I recommend trying out a few different ways. You could place the large hook in your lap or on a table, play around until you feel the most comfortable. Some people prefer to remove the large hook before they start collecting their groups. Um, I find that this makes my tension a little wonky, but if you find this easier, definitely give it a try. This is the wrong side of the stitches where you can see the single crochets and this is the right side. Be sure to check out my crochet stitches playlist for more tutorials. Happy crocheting!